Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Arc Basics, a show where we break down the ABCs of how to start an arc, how to accomplish things, how to achieve things, how to be the best you possibly can be. That's right, we're going with the full ABCs of Arc. A for Arc, B for Basic, C for, well, whatever you want it to be. C can be anything. Welcome back to Arc Basics, I'm Flinger Fu, and today we're going to be discussing the Equus. That's right, we're going to be discussing those little horse dudes that you wish you could tame early on as quick as possible, because if you are able to tame one of these guys early on in the game, you can come up, you can have just one of the best taming methods that there possibly is when it comes to the early game of Ark, and I will explain this to you, and I will also explain how to find them on the island, on Ragnarok, places like that. Um, I will also explain to you the easiest ways of getting carrots early on in the game. Now, let's start off with that, because when it comes down to uh, taming an Equus, what you really want, you really want Trudon Kibble. Now, Trudons, they're not an early game tame. They're not anything even close to early game. So we're going to not even worry about the Trudon Kibble right now. We're going to worry about carrots, because carrots are the next best thing. And not just any regular vegetables, not the potatoes, not the corn, not the lemons. We're going to go with the carrots, the rock carrots. All right, so now, when you're early on in the game, when you just land on the game... Hold on, let's get a little bit... Let's get a little bit early gamey. All right, hold on, let's uh, go with that. There we go. We got pants and boots. There we go. All right, so now when you're out here and you're picking up berries off these bushes, you want to make sure that when you're grabbing these things, that you will occasionally get seeds. Now, when you get seeds, you want to make sure what you're, you want to pay very close attention to what you're getting. All right, come on. Give me a seed, all right? Gosh, man, I'm trying to make a video here. All right. No, no, no. Still no seeds. Give me seeds. All right, come on. Alright, well, eventually you'll get some seeds. Apparently, my, none of my seeds are, uh, none of my plants are wanting to give me seeds. Where is my... Alright. Alright, fine. I'm gonna break out the heavy artillery. Alright, so, say if you have an Iguanodon, and you don't want to spend the amount, the thousands of hours it takes to get, apparently, one seed, because my game is apparently not wanting to give me any seed. Thank you! Alright. So, you, all you do is you smack a bush, and you're going to end up getting a bunch of seeds. And now, if you don't, if you do smack a bush, and you end up... See, there we go. There's a measure very seed. Kick your butt seed. All right, see? That's what you get, man. All right, now we're getting a bunch of seeds. Okay. Now we're getting a lot of seeds. Okay, now we're getting a little bit too many seeds. All right, let's dump that out. All right, so uh, let's stick this over on there. All right, so yeah, now we're getting seeds. That rock carrot seed. There we go. Bam, we got it. This is what you're looking for right there. Is a rock carrot seed. And, come on, let's just throw all this stuff out on the ground. Later, dudes. All right, fine. All right. So, now that we've got the rock carrot seed, now what you want to do is you want to um, craft what they call a medium crop plot. If you craft a small crop plot, they won't grow. You can't grow vegetables in small crop plots. You can only grow them in medium or large crop plots. All right, and this is what they look like. This is what a small crop plot look, looks like. Don't make those, all right? The mediums, these ones right here, these are the ones that you need. All right, so now, as you uh, um, get the uh, rock carrot seeds, you can uh, take and you can add fertilizer or just regular raw poop. You can walk around to all your dinosaurs, you can pick up this poop, and you can throw it in there. Or you can take all this uh, um, poop and throw it inside of a fertilizer or a... Uh... Hey, let me show you. Wrong button. Uh, compost bin into a compost bin with um every for three poops and one and 50 thatch and over the course of about an hour or so it'll end up being turned into fertilizer that you can then stick into your um oh into your uh crop plots over here and they will give you fertilizer now i would recommend as soon as you can all right what level is it for medium crop plots all right, medium crop plots, level 26. I would recommend, as soon as you can, get that in there. But also, another thing that you uh, might want to pay a look, um, pay attention to is a lot of these green and blue drops and stuff like that coming down in here. Um, see the blue drop right here, blue drop over there. A lot of these drops that are coming down, even the green drops, will have medium crop plot blueprints. And that's kind of why. 
that they have them in there is, I mean, granted, when you get a higher level, you're like, why am I getting so many medium crop plot blueprints? Well, that's, they're not aimed for the higher level players. They're aimed at the lower level players. So where you can actually, if you get lucky, you can actually have access to a medium crop plot blueprint or a medium crop plot early on. So you can actually get vegetables early on. It's my theory that that's what Ark intended by adding them to that. Um, especially by putting them so high up on the item list for how often they are in there. That's my theory. That's what I'm going with. That's what I'm sticking with. All right. That, so now once actually we have the uh, um, the carrots growing and then we have um, the fertilizer made, you can get the carrots. Um, it just takes time. Really, that's all it does. It just takes time. So now we're going to take these and then these in here will only stack up to 149 in here. And then once you get to 149, they will eventually just spoil on you and then, yeah. But once you take these all out of here, then they will end up growing again. Alright, but uh, once it hits 149, you have to take it all out and then they'll start growing again. That's kind of a thing that happens with that. I'm not sure why it is like that, but that's just the way um, the arc did it. Alright, so now, when we're out looking for these, uh, um, oh, Equus, now that we have our carrots... I'm going to go show you where is one of the best spots to find Equus on the island. All right. After I clear my inventory because this guy weighs a lot. All right. All right. So Equus on the island are actually kind of rare. They're not as rare as on some other maps, but they are pretty dang rare. On other, on certain other maps, they are pretty common, actually. What is that down there? Whatever you are, I instantly don't like you. You scare me and infuriate me. Okay, all right, never mind. It was just some glut, just some uh, reflection on the ground. All right, but here, let me show you on the map. Right over here on this map, um, on um, this part of the island, is where I generally have some pretty decent luck finding some Equus. Over here in these woods, you can generally find some. Um, there's also a couple other spots further along, and I'll show you those here in just a sec. But if you come down in here with, say, like a trike or something like that, and you just kind of plow around... And, um, oh, uh, all these dillos and stuff like that that are in here. And you just kill all the dillos and stuff. And then you leave the area and then you get it to respawn. Generally, you can find, um, an Equus or two. Generally, they spawn in about, uh, I think, packs of two to four. I think that's how, um, big their, their packs are. But, yeah, um, you can find them pretty much all throughout this entire area over here. And let me show you. As we're cruising around long over here and then up along this edge over here. And then I'm going to see if I can find me some Equus and do it on camera. Just where we can kind of clear up that, uh, you know, hey, they are over here. It looks like that's a Bronto over there. Alright, let's see. Alright, now right over here is where I usually have the best luck with finding them. Or either this spot right here or over on the Black Sands. Let's see. Uh, and I'll explain Black Sands here in just a minute. Right here is the spot. And I can usually find some right around over here. Let's see, is there any over here? No. Let's go look over the other edge. All right, because generally you can find a few around here. Oh, there's snakes over there. Okay. I'm up around this way. Let's see. Nothing here. You see what I mean about uh, Equus being rare? Because they really are rare. Um, they, uh... Oh, there's one right there. Okay. Oh, there's two. Oh, no, no, there's one. Okay. All right. Yeah, there's one. Um, let's see. And usually they tend to congregate together. All right, but there's one. All right, well, let's see how we do this. Now, if you have access to ghillie armor, I would recommend that you use it. Um, ghillie armor will give you that little extra seconds where you can sneak up on these guys and make it just a little bit easier for you. Alright. Let's see. Let's go like that. Let's take ghillie armor. Alright. And then we'll take these carrots and we'll put them down in here. But, um, as we, uh, oh, uh, um, tame this guy, you're, you'll see that it's not a typical passive tame kind of style. Alright. Now, what you have to do, you have to sneak up on it. Oh, it's level 55. Okay. And you, tape, and you feed it a carrot, and then you immediately uh, press the uh, use button again, and you jump on it. And then you immediately lose all control of anything that you're doing. Now the horse takes control, and now you pretty much have to break it. 
And that's how you tame these guys. And he's just going to be running around. He's going to be running through raptors. He's going to be running through all sorts of bad stuff that's going to aggro on you. And then you're just going to have to pay very close attention to the little meter down in the bottom right where it says effectiveness 100 plus 27 levels, taming 53%. Because every time a new message pops up on that bottom right hand side, and you'll see it here in just a second when it pops up, that you have to be ready to um, press your uh, use button in order... There we go. Um, in order to uh, feed it another uh, carrot, because if you don't, it's going to buck you off the back, and then it's going to kick you in the face, which causes a torpor attack, and generally leads to you being knocked out on the ground and having a bad day. There we go. 99%. So this guy right here just needs one more, and then uh, we'll get this guy tamed up. But I think I'm going to show you what happens when you get bucked off and see, um, let you guys see exactly how this thing goes. Because if the thing pops up, and you don't click it, this is what happens. All right, come on, you ready to go, buddy? And it's gonna screw this guy's taming effectiveness up, but it'll be fine. It'll be fine, I've already got really high level Equus over there. I'm not too worried about it. I just want you guys to see what happens. All right, come on, buddy. All right, let's do this. Oh, come on, dude. All right, we're recording, man, come on, dude. You're supposed to cooperate. All right, so see where this says use to feed your dino. See, right there, I didn't feed it. It jumped off and it kicked me and then it gave me some torpor. See, notice I actually have torpor going on right now. So yeah, horses, they, they are pretty impressive, uh, um, able to uh, kick stuff. So yeah, they can kick and they can cause torpor. All right, so now that we've got that, now I'll go show you the black sands. Now the black sands, I generally have a little bit better luck with finding Equus over here if you clear this area out. You can generally get a few to spawn, and I keep saying generally today, so um, I will shy away from saying generally a little bit too uh, much, but yeah. All right, so now let's head over to the black sands. So I'll show you exactly what I mean with the black sands. And also, I'll show you a few spots where I have found unicorns specifically. And one of them is actually over here. But um, when it comes down to unicorns, a unicorn is exactly like an Equus. It has the exact same stats, has the exact same abilities. Uh, there's really nothing special other than it has a spiked horn out of its forehead. And there is only one of them per server. So, uh, um, and they have uh, changed it a few times, but as of right now, I think the safe bet is there's only one per server. If it, um, I, I've had a few on my uh, Patreon servers where there will only be one, and the moment it gets uploaded um, at the obelisk, then another one will spawn. But until it gets uploaded, then generally that's the only one. All right, and I've seen um, unicorns. I've seen them over in that area right there. I've seen them over on this little plateau over here. Let's see this punch up the map. And without the gloves on, because that apparently makes things awkward. All right, so right over there, on that little bit, I found one over there. Plus, I've also found one over on this black sand area that we're about to go over to. And then also, I found one just right outside my current base that I have on this map for this playthrough. Um, I found the one that I currently have, and I'll um, show you guys that one. And I'll also discuss a few uh, different ways of doing builds for these guys to make them really effective. So let's head over there. I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, so now we're over here on, this is the area that I call the black sand. Now, it's, that's because it actually has black sand on it. Now, these areas down here, they are a lot more uh, difficult, and they're a lot more treacherous than the other areas over there, which is why generally over by the red obelisk is where I generally, where I tend to go and look for more, look for the Equus over there, because over here, they only have a... Uh, kind of a slight lifespan before they're killed because over here um, well the Equus they won't fight back They'll they'll as soon as they're attacked They'll run and then over here You'll have things like rexes and raptors and all sorts of stuff that are gonna chase them down and They're gonna eat them. That's why whenever an Equus spawns over here uh, it 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 only has a few moments before it's gonna die which is the same thing as uh, Ovis and stuff like that. Gen you will find Ovis over here quite often. I caught myself on that one. <laughs> All right. Um, so over here, you will find things like Equus and Ovis that spawn. and But yeah, they're going to get killed really, really fast. So if you do find one, I would hope that uh, when you find one that's really good, that you have like an Argent or something like that. So you can carry it. You can drop it off in a taming pen. And then you can just tame it that way. Um, but yeah, let's head back over to the base, and I'm going to show you a couple different ways of uh, leveling them up. Alright, come on. Let's get our butt over there. Alright, coming back down in here to base. Hop on down. Now, you will notice that I actually have quite a few 
um, Equus in here. Um, early on in the game, these guys are absolutely amazing. Where did I leave them, though? All right, here they are. All right, here's my two uh, favorite ones. I have Lady Amalthea, which happens to be a unicorn, and then I have Butt Spud. Butt Spud, throughout just about all my series, uh, Butt Spud plays a major role because Equus are so amazing in this game. I mean, I love them. All right, but here, let us let me show you something really cool. Okay, let's take this off there. All right, let's just drop all this. We don't need any of this on here. Um, Yeah, let's just get rid of that. All right, because with um, Equus, as soon as you tame them, you can actually ride them without a saddle, which is kind of cool. It means that... Oh, wrong button. Wrong button! All right, it's kind of cool that you can just hop on out and you can ride these guys without any kind of saddle. But when with their saddle, they actually get some pretty amazing superpowers, and we're going to cover those here in just one second. All right, so let's take this saddle, pop that on there. So now he's got this super-duper saddle, but now you'll notice that you can actually craft stuff in his inventory because these things they act they act like a uh, mortar and pestle inside here plus also while they um, can craft a bunch of cool stuff, they also get some really amazing weight reduction abilities while they have this saddle equipped which means that um, for Akatina paste, uh, cactus sap, uh, cementing paste, Clay and sand. Yeah, sand is huge, especially like within, uh, if you're playing Scorched Earth and you're out gathering a bunch of sand, stick it on your Equus, you get an 80% weight reduction on that, which means sand weighs next to nothing on these guys. You can stick a ton of sand on these guys so you can go make, craft up your adobe stuff. Yeah, and then after you're done with that, you can take all your clay and then you can put it back on these guys along with your cactus sap and then you can make up a whole bunch of adobe. It's amazing. It's really, really cool. Um, plus, also on top of that, uh, for a, they get a 50% weight reduction on chitin, keratin, and stone. So they get a huge weight reduction bonus just for having the saddle equipped on these guys. These guys are literally one of the best tames that you can get early on. So make sure you get those carrots planted. You get those things going because they are absolutely really cool. Now, now though, I'm going to show you one of the best things about these guys is lassos. These things are wicked, wicked cool. All right, so here, let me show you this. All right, and then you'll notice also that I have my Ichthyornis on my shoulder. It's because these guys, when the Ichthyornis is combined with the Equus, are one of the best ways of actually doing early game tames. Um, here, let me show you. Uh, let's see, it is thatch and fiber. No problem whatsoever. Make sure there's no alpha out here. So many alphas out here lately. All right, let's pop up here. Let's grab a whole bunch of fiber. All right, so we got a whole bunch of fiber. Let's go grab some thatch. All right, let's stick this on this guy. All right, let's uh, bam, bam, bam. And then let's craft up, oh, 22 of those guys. All right, so let's craft up some uh, um, lassos. All right, so we've got 22 lassos crafted up, and now the only place in the entire game that these things can be crafted up is inside of an Equus saddle. So just so you know that, that's the only place you can get these. All right, but now we're going to take those and we're going to put these down on our hot bar. And now we're just going to use these. And then you get the crosshair that pops up. And you can just kind of drag things around. Here, let me show you. See, just like this. And then now we can just pull this guy wherever we want. And you can only pull smaller things um, with these. But uh, you can pull some pretty decent sized stuff. But yeah, if we uh, wanted to, uh, if we didn't have, say, like an Arjun or something like that, and we wanted to move one of these guys over to a taming pen, we could definitely do that. If we uh, um, were out and about and we uh, had extra dinos that we just wanted to move around, you can do that. Also, another good way is, uh, say, if you wanted to tame something that's inside of a cave, but you really don't want to tame it inside the cave, you can uh, use bug repellent on your horse and yourself, go inside the cave and use a lasso to drag the thing out without gaining even a bit of aggro. It is really cool. I've done it on camera. It's amazing that you can do that. All right, so now that we've got that, let's just get rid of that. Get rid of that. And now let's go talk about a couple other cool things about these guys. Because these guys right here, um, let me get rid of uh, the uh, K, K mode. All right, so now these guys right here, when it comes down to it, the Equus and the Ichthyornis, when you combine them, their abilities to tame just about anything kind of outshine uh, even crossbows. Um, uh, they definitely outshine uh, regular bows with trank arrows and stuff like that. Because here, let me show you. The, uh, the kick attack on these guys 
is a torpor attack. Let me show you. Bam. All right, that guy's already out. That guy's already out. But also, you also run the risk of when you uh, have the torpor attack that you can over torpor them very quickly. So you want to make sure that you kind of spread it out. Spread it around. Okay, here comes Adila. We'll knock this guy out. Bam. All right, so now we can actually tame this guy with regular taming effectiveness. Yes, that is that is correct. As long as you don't overdo it and you don't kick it, you can tame these guys with maximum taming effectiveness. Now, we'll just take this uh, compy over here, and we'll sick this guy out on him, and he'll eat the compy, and he'll bring us it back, and he'll give us some prime meat. Seriously? You don't want a piece of me, dude. Alright, come on. Get him! Thank you! Seriously, dude? I wouldn't want to kick the butt on camera, but I totally will. Alright, fine. We're gonna have to go get a dodo. Get me get out of here! Get off my horse! You gonna finally gank him, or are you just gonna drop him in the water? Okay, dude. Alright, let's go get a dodo. All right, let's go get a dodo so we can tame our dillo. All right, sorry about the fog, but here, we've got a couple dill uh, dodos right here. So let's just get one of these guys over ganking this dodo. All right, and he's going to bring, he's going to eventually kill it. One of these days. There we go. All right, so now we've got a glowing do- Please, no more compies. Please, no more compies. All right, so he's going to come back here. He's going to gank this. There we go. Now we've got prime meat. So now- with the combination of these two, not only are we able to knock out everything, but we're also able to get plenty of prime meat. So if we wanted to tame this du this dillo right there, we just go up to it, kick it once. Or this one. Okay. You you coming at me, bro? Alright, fine. Alright, so now this guy's knocked out. We can just throw our prime meat on this guy, tame him up, and he's going to be our buddy. So we can get a ton of all sorts of cool stuff like this. Also, with um, the... Uh, Equus' ability, not only can you knock out just like, um, you know, Dillos, stuff like that. You can knock out Carnos, and then off a really high level uh, um, Equus, you can actually knock out some T-Rexes and stuff like that. It takes a little bit of practice, but you can totally do it. And it works. So, yeah. Um, I mean, Equus's combined with Ichthyornis's, just the absolute best. Um, plus, also, another amazing benefit of these guys is they can harvest berries. Just by going up to it and attacking it. It's really awesome, really cool. Just remember that their uh, left click attack um, is just a straight up attack with their mouth and also will harvest berries, but the right click attack is the back kick, which uh, makes it so where they can knock things out. That is the torpor attack right here. Bam. And of course, they can't tame those, but still, all right. All right, so now that we've got that covered, now I'm going to um, cover another way, which is actually really, really cool, about how the Equus, instead of, like, on the island, where the Equus is, is kind of, you'll, uh, I'd say about every, one out of every thir uh, three playthroughs on the island, will you be able to find an Equus early on. Now, oh, no, not Raptors, not Raptors. Now, this is the bane of, of this is Raptors. I hate Raptors. All right, so now um, on the island, you, you're only going to be able to find an Equus or be able to tame an Equus early on about one third of the time. So now let's head over to a different map that where the Equus really, really shines because you're able to tame them at such a low level and you're able to raise up with them as you uh, play the game with them being your primary mount. All right, see you guys in a minute. Oh, before we go, there's one thing I had to bring you guys back for. Sorry about this. I know I told you guys I'd, I'd cover this. But yeah, um, when you're raising, when you're leveling these guys up, um, I would suggest, for the most part, that uh, you raise them up with health and then uh, melee damage. Because the melee damage um, accentuates how much of a kick attack they have. Um, how much torpor their kick attack does. So where if you want to be able to knock out things rather easily, rather effectively, then you need to make sure that you uh, um, level up that melee damage. All right. 
And then also, um, yeah, see, like, with this right here, my unicorn has 582 melee damage. That's really impressive for one of these things. It's pretty dang cool. All right, let's take these. Let's put those over on there. And um, then you want to make sure that you get a little bit of stamina. Usually, the, the amount of stamina, if you get a high-level one, they come with just enough stamina. So where you're not going to really have to worry about it too much. Um, when it comes down to their weight, generally, they have a pretty high weight stat. Um, I would say that um, one of the best things to do is, if it, unless if you're breeding, is just go with health and melee damage. Uh, you might want to get a little bit more uh, movement speed on these guys, but it's not too much. If you're going to breed these guys, then I would say do it when you can get 100% um, imprint. That way, their their um, their movement speed, their weight, their stamina, it's all it's automatically increased. And then from there on, just go with melee damage and um, health. I would say um, take one of these things up to probably about 4,000 um, health and then all the rest in melee damage. Um, if you're going to use one of these as like a pack mule, then I would say um, use it, um, increase their weight a little bit. But your main riding one. Health up to about 4,000, maybe 5,000 if you're in a real dangerous spot, and then all the rest melee damage. That's really all you have to do. All right, so let's uh, head over to Ragnarok, and I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, so now we're over on Ragnarok. I'm on a brand new character. He, I think he's level 12. I've used him for another video before, but now we're uh, we're here in the Highlands to uh, exp um, so I can actually kind of show you how, in my opinion, how Equus are generally meant to be experienced in the game. So where you can actually get them at a low level and you can raise up as as you're leveling, they can be your, just your best buddies and you can use them as your primary amount for a long time. Because in my opinion, that's how Equus were intended to be in the game, which is absolutely, truly amazing. And over here in the Highlands, on Ragnarok, you can find carrots that are just growing on the grounds. Uh, there's a little farmland area over here where they just grow everywhere. Plus, also up here by the uh, um, the bridge, you'll find some as well. Um, you might have to dodge the occasional aloe attack and the occasional giga attack. But other than that, other than being chomped really quickly in a, just one fell bite, you'll be fine. Alright, yeah. So, yeah, come up here. Um, see right here. This is what the carrots look like on the ground. You can just pick them up. Just like you were harvesting a berry bush. And see, just like that, we already have a whole bunch of carrots. Let's grab all these. And then let's go see if we can find ourselves an Equus. Because generally, Equus are all over the highlands. Alright, and I've already found one right here. Alright, all you have to do is just like normal, walk up to it and beat it. Oh, this is, this is actually a really good Equus. Just hop on it, and then just tame it just like normal. And then once you get this guy tamed, he'll be your buddy. You can travel th um, travel all throughout the entire uh, map with this guy, and they'll just be your buddy the entire time. And just remember that you have to be level 10 to tame one of these guys, but reaching level 10 over here, super, super easy. So get crafting those thatch foundations, uh, get gathering up those uh, carrots, make your cloth armor, do all sorts of cool stuff like that, and then just know that as soon as you're ready to tame a, um, an Equus at level 10, it'll be here waiting for you, and you can find some amazing Equuses. It's really, really cool. All right, so hey, I, if, if you like the video, make sure you click that like button. I really hope this helped you out a little bit. Um, if you're new around here and you want to see more basics, you want to see uh, some gameplay videos, just some wonky videos, also uh, some solo videos, then uh, subscribe. I appreciate that just as much. And until next time, this is Flinger Foo, Tame in an Equus, a pretty dang cool level Equus, and take it easy, everybody.